Oh, okay. Uh, someone's asking about uh, low-speed pre-ignition. What is it? Is it dangerous? Does our DSG tuning help prevent it? Uh, downshifting to prevent significant load. I mean, it, that's a tough one to answer. Low speed preignition shouldn't obviously be occurring unless there's something out of spec or the you know the tune isn't accounting for it. Uh, it's basically when when you're at a very low RPM, very high load situation, um, and you're <clears throat> yeah you basically preignition preigniting your your yeah. your your mixture's firing off before it should, causing you know knock or uh, detonation in the cylinder. Um, which is obviously not healthy for the motor. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Um, and the reason, reason that happens is, is most engines operate most efficiently at lower RPM. So usually you see a torque peak depending on a turbo, but on a factory car with a factory turbo, you could see it as low as 1500 RPM. Right. So that, that generates the highest cylinder pressures um at a at a, a point where the, the engine the rods and pistons don't have as much momentum as they would say at higher rpms so that pre-ignition can be pretty damaging and generate a lot of heat because of how slow those combustion cycles are compared to higher up in the rpm so generally you know i i would i would let's take low speed pre-ignition i would go up a few levels and say that uh trying to do a lot with your motor at low, low rpms is a bad idea low speed pre-ignition is one of them um they're also you know uh, there's there's many devices in the motor that operate off of engine rpm for example the oil pump and the fsi fuel pump yep. are two uh i suppose your ac compressor your alternator you all your anything that's driven, driven from the motor is, yeah is. so none of those accessories which are receiving their operating power from the engine's crankshaft none of those um, are are operating in their range at the at those lower rpms so that means the oil pump is not nearly putting out as it's the flow it will say at 5000 rpm or 3000 rpm so your oil pressure is likely lower than you would like at at the torque peak um, and then the fuel pump flow is also lower so the the fuel system simply just has less ability to meet uh, the fuel demand uh, at those lower RPMs. So there's this thing called lugging. Um, generally, if you want to criticize someone, you could call them a lug. Um, and, um, and lugging, saying something is lugging is not a good thing, right? It has a very negative connotation. So generally, do not lug your high-performance car. Um, there should be no reason to. You can always you have lots uh, shift of gears for lots of to reasons. a lower gear. There's a reason there's gears, and uh, I would I would say you know really operate just about any engine, you know between like you know two to twenty five hundred RPM and redline. Um, I don't have any issues with redline. Redline's awesome, and I think way too many people are afraid of it. Yeah, it's it, that that's something that a lot of people don't understand. Well, actually, they, yeah. they 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 think they drive at a low RPM and it's safer for the motor. You're actually you have higher cylinder pressures typically, you know, in a, in a, yeah. especially in a turbocharged application. Yeah um at, at the lower rpm ranges with as Javad mentioned a lot less um you know support from your other you know pressure driven devices so the pumps and the, the oil pumps the fuel pumps and whatnot yeah so just just because you can go wide open throttle at 1500 rpm doesn't mean you should um, and then secondarily so. does your dsg tuning help prevent it no it's 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 not a function of the tune the dsg tune i mean DS, but, I mean, if DSG, it's in auto mode, yeah, it, DSG it in auto mode will just it will. it'll downshift. That's but no, if you're in manual mode, it's going to hold it. It's, it's going to let you do it. Too. Yeah, so just don't do it. It's uh, there's no there's no reason to. There's a lot of things you shouldn't do. You shouldn't crash into curbs either. Yeah, so yeah. just it's one of the things you have to do when you're controlling. Do you use car. blinkers? Yes. 